Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and I'm so excited to share this video uh, figuring out which of these portable lights is the better one and also is this something that we really need? Honestly, the backstory is that we just had an opening night party for a show I'm in and we were trying to take photos all around the building and the lighting was just not that great and so we were struggling a little bit and I remember looking online, I don't know if my phone heard me or something, I saw a video about a light clip that could help enhance your photos and videos so I thought I would just try them out out. I wasn't sure which ones to get but I saw two that looked pretty good and were pretty affordable and these are the ones that I got. So I'm going to be testing these out in my video today. I'm going to break down each one of these, give you price points, give you all the specs, etc. and then try it out in action to see how it actually works. The main idea of these is that they're portable, supposed to be super convenient. You can attach them to your phone or your laptop or other things like you'll see later in my video which will make your life a lot easier and that's what we're all about here and they are very 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 budget friendly both of these are under thirty dollars so let's get into it also major amount of makeup on my face right now it's not for this video i shot something earlier today and i'm just lazy and didn't take off my makeup because i have a show tonight we're just going to recycle and reuse that makeup because why not Here is what the Numoma light clip looks like. It's really sleek. It comes with a front clip and back clip and a charger also can be compatible with type C. Here is what the King Ma light clip looks like. It can be easily attached to your tripod, which is a great plus. Here's the clamp, and then it has front and back and side to side ability to swivel, and there is the USB connector. That's what they both look like side by side. So obviously the Numoma is a little bit taller, but it is thinner, and then the King Ma is shorter, but it is a little bit thicker. And this is how they look when they would be attached to your phone. Here is the King Ma in action. It has 144 LED light bulbs. It is three light modes with 10 different brightness levels. The different light modes are white, bright white and warm yellow, and then just warm yellow. Now, though the new MoMA is a couple dollars more, it actually only has 60 LED light bulbs, but it still has the three light modes and the 10 levels of brightness. And it has about 135 minutes of battery life whereas the king ma boasts that it can run for 15 plus hours at a minimum brightness and two hours at maximum brightness And here with the Numoma, I just wanted to show that I had no lights on, and this is what it looked like with the Numoma light clip on. It's really, really nice. And then I just wanted to test the different um, brightness colors, and then I started blinding myself as the light got brighter and brighter. And then here is what the warm color looks like as well. Here was an unexpected win. I realized I could attach the clip to my mirror so I could put my makeup on. My apartment gets very dark, so finding light uh, to do my makeup is challenging. I usually just use my bathroom or I have to put a mirror in front of my giant lamp. So now I can actually just attach the clip to a little mirror and sit wherever I want. So I just wanted to show clearly without my ring light Okay, I don't like the way I'm inflecting all those words. I just wanted to show without my ring light because it's clearly sitting over here, what my apartment kind of looks like at, what is it? It's three o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't have an apartment that has like beautiful lighting all, all day long. Um, it doesn't really bother me. It's just when I'm filming that I'm like, ooh, gotta be strategic. Or when I'm putting my makeup on, ooh, gotta be strategic. But I wanna just show, for example, what this kind of looks like. This is the King Ma one. Oh, look at that like giant shadow. And it's, it just looks so much better for self tapes for video conferencing for just facetiming with someone and you know it's really dark 
um, I'll turn it down. This is the lowest that it goes and it's not blinding me or anything like that. Notice the position of where I'm clipping it. Depending on if it's a selfie photo or video or if it's faced the other way, you do have to move that around. I will say that this one actually is easier than the other one. I had to kind of fiddle around with it just because of how long the clip is. As you can see, I do have to make sure that it's bent away so that I can clip it because it is a little finicky, but once it's clipped on, it sits on the edge and that's actually perfect. Like this photo, if I snapped it right now, it would be really great. Let me show you the new MoMA, which was a fan favorite at the start and now I'm rethinking it. It is much lighter though. Oh, I have to return one of these, which am I gonna return? Actually with this one, before I turn it on, I just wanna show that you can clip it on the far ends for the selfie. This one is much easier to clip because there is no tilting of it. It doesn't get caught with my hand, which is just randomly specific, but it does make a difference. Now let me show you what it looks like on. Um, so that's how much light you're gonna get. This is the warm light. This is something that's in between, but actually is really nice. Me standing over my camera right now, this is how much light I would get. So this thing goes far. Honestly, I might go as far as to say is that if you don't wanna purchase a ring light and you have a space behind your camera, cause that's important, to clip this, you could use this. This is with the King Ma. And then this is with the Nuoma. I know it's like, far away, but remember this is on the lowest light setting. Look how much light it's giving me. Wow, this is awesome. So you could save yourself a buck and some space with using just this. Okay, there we are, we're in some light. So I, oh, of course this would happen. I honestly do not know which one I prefer because I pick up one and I'm like, oh, I prefer this one. Here's the comparison right here. Um, the only thing, the thing that I really don't like is if I can show you the construction of it, um, I like that it swivels, that's really cool. I'm trying to open it and fit it over, but it's just, it has to be faced this way. No, it has to be faced like this so that I can get all the space in. So it has to be a little bit face forward. I do really like it. It has a lot of features, really great, easy to use. It can swivel far down as that and forward and back. And this one was the cheaper one, the $21.99. Numoma, a much more sleek fit with the clamp. It seems like it was definitely made with the idea of a phone in mind, which is really good. There is a swivel action as well. There is no turning it around, so you would have to just take it off and spin it around yourself, which is not a huge deal. Kind of hard to gauge how much and how high you go because you're just pressing buttons, and I'm just guessing that that's the end. I haven't had to charge any of them up, and I've been using it like a good amount of time. I'm so glad I'm very indecisive, so I don't know which one I would prefer. Maybe someone has a really good lighting eye and they notice some differences. Let's have a discussion down below. I think these are awesome gifts and not just for the photo obsessed. I know I said that in the beginning, like this is perfect for someone that wants to get good selfies, all that, wants to get good photos with their friends while they're out. But this is also really good for those of you that are um, filming at home when you have uh, Zoom or you're doing FaceTime with family and friends or a business meeting or something like that and you just wanna put something right on top of your laptop. So it just sits up there. It can't obviously sit directly center because um, you know that's where the camera is, but that's really, really easy and you could adjust the lighting, etc. cetera. Um, and then let me show you what this one looks like. Very easy. So all of that is super, super easy. My gut is telling me to go with this one for whatever reason, um, probably because it's cheaper, let's be honest. But $21 versus $27 is really good. These are under 30. This is how I'm filming regular without any light. And now I'm gonna add in the new MoMA and watch it fly. Holy smokes, this is a game changer because if you could see in the, no, you cannot. This is just sitting on the back of my phone. This makes things so much easier. Okay, ignore how dirty my mirror is. Uh, this is how the clip is on so you can actually see that it's sideways or it could be this way. You don't even have to clip it on the top. You could actually just hook it to the back. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Which one do you prefer? Do you think this is a great gift for someone? Do you think this could help you in any sort of capacity? That is my video. Let's have a conversation down below. I love gadgets like these that are super convenient, super easy. Whoever mentioned this on TikTok, you knew what you were doing. Um, and thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.